As Wales continue to build towards Saturday's clash with the Barbas, the squad has been boosted by the return of the Ospreys players, whose win against Leinster in the Pro 12 final has given an extra boost to preparations. We always said we always want our regions to do well, and for one of them to be in the final and actually beat the European champions on their own patches, I think that says it all really. Um, I think the Ospreys, I think, you know, obviously done it a couple of years ago and, and have achieved it again on, on Sunday, and it's a, it's a fantastic achievement and certainly gives us a boost. You know, the players have had a pretty good year themselves in the national setup with the World Cup and obviously the Six Nations, and, and for them to be, uh, you know, the, the Pro Rabo uh, champions as well. No, it's only going to give have a knock-on effect for us and have a positive one. And, and the boys coming in, they're all bouncing, they're all happy. I said, obviously, there is a little bit of tiredness in them from from the game itself. But other than that, I think they're looking forward to the next month. And you know, you never seem to feel tired when you're winning. I think it's uh, good. Uh, obviously, the Ospreys boys have come in and uh, and boosted everything with their uh, with their victory over in Ireland, and uh, it's given us all confidence. And we you know, everything's going really well uh, of late, and uh, we're all really positive. I think the talent that's in the squad, the talent that's playing around Wales in this moment in time. Um, obviously, the guys are involved in the Six Nations, but the guys on the fringes as well. And you know, I said it before. I think anyone didn't be injured um, because if someone steps in, they seem to take them place, and, and they play exceptionally well. And um, we've had that through the Six Nations with ourselves, with some of the players stepping in and playing exceptionally well. And maybe only certain players actually missing out there that good that they've actually come back in the team. So. I think we've got a very good squad this moment in time and um, you know, no matter who, who goes obviously early to Australia, it's going to be a good 15 and, and it's certainly be a good side playing against the Barbarians. I had my first taste of international experience uh, was when I played for the Barbars and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, you know, it would be interesting now to be on the other, other end uh, and play with Wales this time and you know, hopefully it'll, uh, we'll get the win this time. The thing with the Barbarians is, like you said, it maybe don't take it too seriously in the week. Uh, but as game time gets closer, you know you want to back yourself. You don't want to be remembered for a player that you maybe played alongside. And you're going to play them in maybe four, or five months' time in certain autumn series. You want to be playing well, and you want to enjoy your time with that player or whoever it may be. And I think you back your own skills. So I think it's slightly different come game time when these boys are ready to rock, and they will be. On Saturday, they will absolutely dis be disappointed with, uh, with the way things went on Sunday against uh, England. They obviously got Ireland tonight, and um, obviously there's going to be, I think, a few Welsh boys playing as well, which would want to, you know, prove a point maybe and uh, you know put their own stamp on the game. So uh, no, I think Saturday's going to be pretty tough, even though the Barbarians do play off the cuff rugby, and it is very difficult to prepare for. I think the real point is we've got to focus on ourselves, make sure we are ready, and make sure we're ready to play a Test match on Saturday.